So what we bringing out, bro? We just showing our people what's going on in this in this modern day. Same thing that went back in in the past history, okay? But it's something a little bit different that our people don't know that they knew back then that we don't know today. See what I'm saying? So Hosea four and six. Give me Hosea four and six. We ain't gonna hold you long. I know y'all out here and you enjoying yourself. You see what I'm saying? But there's still some things that you need to know what's going on. You know, as young kids, we partake in a lot of things. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, a lot of stuff. But we haven't been educated on those things. We, we assimilated. I mean, we conformed to a way of living or doing things that was contrary to what, what we, what, the way we live and carried ourselves. But we don't know that. Right. Jose for us, watch this, brother. Now, we each of modern day pastors. I'm going to tell you that too. We come with it real. We come with it straight out the book. We ain't asked for your money. We don't need your money. We ain't actually join the organization. What we're trying to show our people is, is renew their mind that they repent. Okay? That they be born again. Born again means your mind is being changed, renewed. Okay? But watch this. I'm just going to show you a few things. All right? Bring it out. Bring it out. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Notice God says, my people. Go give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're going to show you who God's people is. Your past ain't going to show you this. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. Okay? The knowledge of what? How many touchdowns Cam Newton going to throw today? Uh, uh, what's the, what? He said we need four. So, you know, we're sitting in the barber shop. I'm a barber. I know I cut hair. So I, I've seen these things. You see what I'm saying? We get in there talking, corral about the sports and the statistics and this player and that player. But then, now we see... These players are taking knees. What's going on with that? But our people, a lot of them don't even care. They're not even paying attention to what's going on. It's an injustice that's going on against our people, okay? And who are our people? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? They're the greatest people on the face of earth. You might say, well, why are you acting like that? Why are you talking like that? Well, I'm going to show you why. It's in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Now, he said we are holy people. What makes us holy? God gave the children of Israel. That's who we are. That's who we be. We're the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These are names that our oppressors gave us. Okay? These are names in slavery that our oppressor gave us. These are names in the Bible that who we are today that we don't know about. They don't teach you about. Okay? So, that's who God is talking to. I've never seen Puerto Ricans. I've never seen the broken down with your case like these two, why these two different? Why they? You know, they they're in the same land, right? <laughs> hey, good. They're in the same land. And, and you know what? I'm glad you say that because you probably say, how, how you know who, who these people are? You're right. They're all in the same land. And I'm going to show you a scripture about those two right there. The yeah. Prophecy. Yeah. He know it. Prophecy in the Bible about them being in the same land. But right quick, let me read this 76 and I'm going to show you about them, okay? Yeah. Dominican. And who was that? The Haitians, right? Right, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Okay, we'll show you that too. So you're from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, watch this. That's right, Judah. Now, it's, it's according to your father, brother. It's according to the father, the seed of your father. So you're Benjamin. I'm Judah, okay? All right, but watch this. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Are we not a special people? God has chosen us to be a special people. It w if it's not for us, this arena wouldn't be filled up today. It's because of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, truly, that this arena is filled up. Okay? I'm going to give you that. Give me a second. Let me finish. I was on this before I went before I that. Yeah, you good. I got you. So we are a special people. I don't care. We running a football, shooting a basketball, running down a trap. Brothers over there cooking. Right. You, you, you can't tell me we can't put it down. I don't care what we're dancing. I've seen the sisters over there dancing. I don't care what it is. Yeah, man made it but, hold on, bro. If it's, a, if, it's, hey, if it's unclean, we ain't going to eat it. What What's it say? It got pork in it? So he said no. He said it does. So, but, but, hey, y'all got to find out what's going on. Sound like a little confusion there. So, better know what you're eating, bro. But read on. Above all people. We are what? Above all people. Now, I didn't say that. That's written in the book. He said above all people what? That are upon the face of the earth. There again, that's why we are here. We're dealing with our people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. But let me show you who the Haitians and the Dominicans are, according to the Bible, okay? Give me one, uh, give me that 
verse 1 first. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons. And Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right. That we are brothers. That's who our father is. Right. Yeah, Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Okay? And Jacob had 12 sons. The 12 sons make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yes. Read on. And said, gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the last days. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you in the last days. And this is all the way back in the book of Genesis. Okay? So this is prophesied. But we're going to show you. Read on. Verse 5. Simeon and Levi are brethren. You hear what I just said? They are what? They're brethren. What makes them brothers? Because you say they do what? They're on the same land, right? But read on. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. What are some of the instruments of cruelty with, with, with Simeon and, 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 and Levi? Or the Dominican? Okay. Instruments of cruelty, they, they do witchcraft. Voodoo. You ever heard of voodoo? Okay. And Zatha Maria, that, that's what it's called? Blue Haria, right, right, work of witchcraft, okay, but it says they're brethren, and like you said, before we even brought this out, they're on the same island, how are they different, they on the, you know what I'm saying, how are they on here, they brothers and don't even know it, bro, right. you are brothers to Mexicans, so-called Mexicans, and don't even know it, right, right, well, 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 there again, these are all family, these are all the 12 tribes, these are all the people of the nation of Israel that came out of Egypt. Oh, so he said, so where the what? He like that. He said, where the what? Where the Caucasians, where the Caucasians come from? The Caucasus Mountains. Brother got some knowledge. Yeah, that's right. They come from the Caucasus Mountains. We'll show you in the Bible who they are. You want to show you in the Bible there too? We'll show you where they at, where they come from. Job right. right. chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So when you watch, you see all these things going on with the brothers taking knees, Colin Kaepernick taking the knee. Now they kick, they don't blackball Colin Kaepernick. All right. Now you see uh, Jerry Jones. And you know what was sad? I, I was supposed to be a Cowboy fan. Knows I said I was supposed to be a Cowboy fan. I'm messing up. Hey, but I'm, you know what? I'm on another team now, all right? I'm on the team of the Most High God because I don't woke up to some things. I ain't been bamboozing hoodwink no more. But let's get back to the point, all right? So you see the owners. Who are the owners of these people, of, of these football teams? The Caucasian man, right? Any black owners? Michael Jordan, Coon Jordan, Michael Coon Jordan, sell out. He helping his people, watching his people kill each other over some $200 sneaking when, you know, Okay, he say Michael Jordan. Right. He no, he really don't own it. He think he own it. Listen, our people think we own it, but the Bible just said the earth is given over to the hands of the wicked. You know who those wicked people is? There's one of them standing right out in the road now. It got police written on his back of his shirt. That's right. Okay. You think they're for you, but they're actually against you. They the ones that been shooting our people down. Okay. The earth is given over to the hands of the wicked. So you ask me where the Caucasian? That's who we talking about right now. Okay. The Caucasian to come out of the Caucasus Mountain. Job chapter 30 verse 5. They were driven from forth, forth from among men. They cried after them after a thief. Verse 6. To dwell in the cliffs of the valley. They dwelled in the cliffs of the valley. Who are these people we talking about? You know we talk about the Caucasus Mountains, right? They dwell up in caves, cliffs, in the rocks, right? Read it again. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys. Yeah, Verse 5, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Those are cavemen, those are Caucasian. That's who that's pertaining to right there. Yes, but I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you where they actually come into existence at, okay? So, when you go back. To Deuteronomy 7 verse 6, what we had read earlier, he's pulling that, you're pulling that in, uh, uh, 25, 25, right. So, Genesis 2 and 7 says, God formed man from the dust of the earth. So we know the original man was the black man, right? 
So you asked earlier, like there, where was the Caucasian man? He wasn't even in, even in existence, you know, at till 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 later when 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 Jacob had Esau. I'm sorry, when uh, uh, Isaac had Jacob and Esau. You know who Jacob is? That's our forefather, right? Esau. That's the Caucasian. Did you know that? Okay. Well. We'll well, I, I'm not as knowledgeable as, as, as much as I could be, but we're getting there, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to share with you what we know. So, right. 25-25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So, at the beginning, Rebecca was, was barren. She wasn't able to have kids, right? So, her husband Isaac went and prayed to the Most High that his wife would be, be, you know, able to bear children. She got pregnant, okay. Then, when she got pregnant, there was wrestling going on in her womb. She wondered what was going on inside her, okay. Matter of fact, go to that point, then we'll go forward. And the children struggled together within her. So she was had children, she got pregnant, the children struggled together in her. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? She said, this be of you, God. Why is this happening to me? They was wrestling inside her. Read on. And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she went and prayed. Read on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb. Read on. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So they're going to be two separate people. When they come forth, they're going to be separated from their bowels. So it sounds like twins, right? Sounds like she got twins in there. It ain't just one person that wrestles, it's two people that wrestling in her womb. But read on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So one of them is going to be stronger than the other people. Obviously, we read about who those people was in Deuteronomy 7 and 6 that was going to be stronger than the other people. Truly, it's us. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native men, we are the stronger people. But read on. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder, the oldest one, the first one to come out of the womb, that's the elder, he's going to serve the younger. Okay? Read on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins in her womb, like we said. But read on. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. So what people you know that come forth red and hairy? What people walk around in red and hairy? When it's saying red, meaning the blood show forth through their skin, all right? You know down south they call them rednecks, right? You piss them off, make them mad, or make them embarrass them, they turn red in the face. So they're not really white. The brother got white in his shirt. This is white. They're red according to the Bible. That's who the real red man is, okay? But read on. And they called his name Esau. So the Caucasian man, or the so-called white man, his true biblical name is Esau, okay? That's right. You said that he was born first. The first to come out. And they say that the, the, so one will be stronger and the one will be weaker. One will be stronger than the other. But the first to come out. Will be the one. The elder. The elder is the one that's. Going to serve the younger. Going to serve the younger. Yeah. Right. And, and that did happen at a time, but. We lost that place. Right. We lost that place. That's why we out here teaching today. We're trying to bring our people's minds back to get back to that place where we rule again. Because we read earlier the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. I was showing that because it's the it's, it was the nation of Esau, the Edomites. Right, you got Cam Newton in there. The elder said, "Sir, serve the younger." Truly, no, he's not. The, he's not there. There was a time where we were ruling. Right now, he's actually serving. Right now, he's serving. Take all that money that you, can you think we would do that? He mentioned Michael Jordan earlier, right? But you gotta understand, the Caucasian man is actually supposed to serve us. They're supposed to serve us. But why is the roles different? We serving them, truly. Michael Jordan, uh, Charles Barkley, Shaq, all them. They, they serve. We serving our oppressors. They serving them, saying, "Okay, I'm gonna do this, but you gonna pay me. You get back a dollar." But 
Now, if I make you hundred, I see where you coming from. You get back a dollar. You pay me for my time. They, they, we gonna get back to power. But, but that's not gonna get us back to power. What, what, what got us? What, where we was in power? Where we was in rulership? We lost that. And I'm gonna tell you, it wasn't, it wasn't the money. It ain't the money that's gonna do it anyway. They ain't in power. You think they in power? Yeah, the, the Edomite, but it's not the money, bro. It's not the money that makes us in power. Listen, it was based on God when He said what it was supposed to be. But there's there's stipulations for us to be ruling. That why we why we not ruling? We can't forget this. Now I'm trying to tie in what you talking modern. I'm trying to tie it in what's going on biblical. Why what's going on biblical? Let's say you yeah, have the people who are in power. Okay. In power because of money, right? Right. Donald Trump so and, and his na and the, the, the nation of people, Edomites. People who got money out of power just take their money. Bro, they ain't going to never give you all their money. You ain't going to never have power over them. What? What? Let, 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 let you act. What happened to Bill Cosby when he tried to buy CBS? Yeah, I know. But I'm saying, uh, yeah, you know, but come on, man. I'm just yeah, giving you an example. I'm saying, okay. I'm paying you. I said... Okay, Cam. What about LeBron James? Let's say, now, let's, let's say um, I watch the back. So let's say I'm John Jones. John Jones said, I'm not fighting again unless y'all give me 90% um, of the game. Okay, what about May Mayweather? Mayweather top of the game. But what is Mayweather doing? Well, I don't know what he's doing. You don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's eliminate Mayweather. Well, let's say John Jones. I'm, okay, Dana White pays me. He's in charge based off your back. So what would I have to say? You in charge because of your money. I see that. I'm gonna take as much money as, as possible, or I won't be fighting. But that's the thing. You ain't. We think we taking. Listen, bro. They, we think we taking. We ain't taking yeah. nothing. They controlling this thing. Okay, how Truly, how be, 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 how be how true. How that's why. I'm, that's why I'm gonna run you to. I'm gonna show you how we lost that power. No, no. I ain't worried about losing the power. Uh, how we gonna get? Well, how we lost is the same way we gotta get it back. I'm gonna right, show you. Right. right. How we lost the same way we get it back. But what yeah. you got? Right. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Right. For this is the whole duty of man. That's how we had power with the Most High God. That's how we lost power with the Most High God. Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to run through this. I, I got to show you this, bro. You got to hear this. That's why we, that's how we know. Uh, the brother knew. Hey, man, these guys are the same same island together, right? So we showed you in the Bible. Did you understand that? We showed you in the Bible. They're, they're brothers. So this is our history book. This Bible is our history book. Right. I'm going to show you even more than this is our history book. This ain't a white man book, as they've been told, okay, to, to think, all right? This ain't no religion. We ain't talking about Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian. God ain't dealing with no religion. He's dealing only with the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, here, okay? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ himself is a black man. You do know that, right? Okay, all praise. So we just want to make sure because a lot of people, don't, people don't know that. A lot of people do not know that. And we say that, they think we're being racist. But they got this image on their mind, okay? Of Pope Alexander the sixth, Rodriguez Borgia, his son. That's where they got these images of Christ from. Right. Cesar Borgia, okay? Oh, oh, sleep with the, okay. Okay, all praise. So we're gonna show you where we stand as a people with the Most High God. While we not in power, while we not ruling, okay? Go to 28 and one. 28 verse one, Deuteronomy. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this time the children of Israel came out of Egypt. God gave us law, statutes, commandments through Moses, right? Read on. To observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. So we had to observe, hear and observe. Pay close attention to and do them. All right, read on. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He will do what? Set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Okay, so he's telling us specifically what he was going to do for the children of Israel, okay? We already know in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, before we get to uh, Deuteronomy 28, we went back and told you who the special people was above all people on the face of the earth. But he's giving us stipulations according to these laws that we got to hear and do now, right? But read on. Verse 2. 
and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. And our people in the city, are they blessed? They in the, the low poverty places, scums places. They and even they're talking about the city, and even in, be blessed in the field. Are we that today? Right. We don't even own the fields. We don't even own the land now. Okay. Read on. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground. Okay. And the fruit of thy cattle, and increase of thy kind. Now hold on. Even blessed shall be the fruit of our body. You see our people, man. A lot of our people are, are, are sick. Our kids are, are sick. They're trying to put these these immunization shots in our kids, jacking our kids up. Most of our women are aborting their kids. They set up these 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 abortion clinics right up in our neighborhood to 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 feed the minds of our people to, to abort our kids. Okay, but let's read on genocide us. Okay, but read on. And the fruit of thy ground. Go to the stone. Verse eight. Verse eight. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in all thy storehouses. In all thy storehouses. Our food, our businesses, read on. And in all that thou settest thy hand unto. So everything we put our hands to do, it was going to be blessed. All right? And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So yeah, we should be blessed in the land the Lord thy God giveth us, belong to us. But we don't own nothing. But let's go to the curse, 28, 28, and 15. So I just hit some of the blessings. Let's deal with some of the curses. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Contrary to the blessings, this shall happen. Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and everyone, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord God. Read on. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command this day. So we had laws that govern us as a people. The way we eat, that's what we're talking about, the pork, okay? We're not Muslims, okay? All these different religions, yeah, they might have some things in it that's true, but they're not following the, the, the true living God, God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob to the fullest, okay? Right, right. They distort it with all these different religions. They take bits and pieces of what they want and how they want to conform their religion, but we're not religion. These are the laws for the children of Israel. These are laws that God gave us as a nation of people. Where's the nation of African American at? It's not there. Everybody else has a land mass that they dwell on, but we don't we, we, we don't even have a land mass of our own. We're in the land of our captivity. We're in the land of our oppressors. Yeah. All right, let's read on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, we were just talking about the blessing. Now, we're talking about the curses that shall come upon us and overtake us. Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Yeah, I see our people out here. They, they feel, seem like they're having a good time. But they don't realize they still curse. Right. But read on. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse. Cam Newton, I don't care how many contracts you get. The biggest contract he get. Or, 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 or look at um, LeBron James. I don't care how many shoes Michael Jordan served. He said curse shall what? Be thy basket and thy store. Your business, your basket, your increase. I don't care. It, it ain't going to profit you nothing. Okay, how much money do you think you got? How much do you think you on top? These people control this earth, brother. But let's read on. Let me tell you why again. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. So everything that about us would be cursed if we didn't keep these laws, statutes, commandments. But give me 30, uh, give me about thy, thy name, five words of Proverbs. 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. So we will become an astonishment. What's an astonishment? Something that's amazement, right? When we go in there and throw that football, you see these people, why are they out here? Because they love to be astonished. Literally, we are entertaining these people. Just like we did back in, in the slavery days, and we're still in captivity now, we don't realize it. They still love us to entertain them. Okay? But... They'll put their, one of their best players out there. Normally, he's always the quarterback, you know what I'm saying? They always want to make the Tom Brady's, you know, they're going to make their man look better, keep him up high, you know what I'm saying, his prestige. They're going to always make, what's his name uh, for the Green Bay Packers? Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers, you know what I'm saying? So they always looking for what we call the old great white hope. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, go out there and beat them niggas, you know, and show them who really in charge. I don't care how strong, how fast they are. We in charge of this thing, you know. 
So I don't care if they do take a knee. You know, what's wrong with them? They can't stand up and, and put their hand across their chest and pledge allegiance to the flag, to the United States of America? That's bull, brother. I'll be darned if we're going to do that mess. That's why we need to come out of this mindset that we, our people have. But let's read on. A proverb and a byword among all nations where if the Lord shall, shall lend thee. So I don't care how good you got your slave master name on the back of the jersey. I don't care how fast you run or what you do. You still going to be in astonishment today, whether good or bad. Okay? If something happened, get shot down, a big ride out here, they'll be amazed. Man, these niggas crazy. Okay? They're astonished at us. They're astonished at us when we run up and down a basketball court of football, no matter what. But they still going to call us bywords and proverbs. They're not going to say to you from the tribe of Judah, they're not going to respect you of, of who you are as a true people of God. They're still going to call you a nigga. Right. They're still going to talk. Even that, that just happened here recently, right? Old guy behind the scenes talking about uh, 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 telling them to go. Uh, 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 what, is, what was it? Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, get, like we inmates. The inmates don't run the prison. Thank you, brother. Thank you. The inmates don't run the prison. That's how they look at us. We still service. They know. They know our history better than we know our history. Why? Because we're the lost sheep of the children of Israel. That's why these brothers you see standing out here. We're trying to wake our people up to show them you still service in the land of this captivity. We still slaves in there. Okay, I'm a, you might have a nice car, good house, a little money in the bank. You still subservient to these people. And I'm approving it to you, but read on. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. For a sign. If I'm looking for Bank of America, that's a sign. These curses was going to be a sign of who these people are. These black, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you the children of Israel. The sign was going to be upon us. That's how we know who these people are. Right. Give me 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee. So if we didn't keep these laws, statutes, commandments. God was going to send these enemies against us. Notice he said enemies, not friends. So we might get together, drink a beer with them, eat old hot dog and cook steaks and high five, you know, old touchdown. And, you know, hey, we come together with an old, old touchdown. You see what I'm saying? But we can't come together with our own people, but we'll come together with all the other nations of people that hate us, and we can't even come together as a 12 tribes of the children of Israel. But let's read on. In hunger? And the hunger, you're going to be in want of all things in hunger. You want something to eat, before you fire that grill up, you're going to have to go to their store and purchase that food. Right. Okay, read on. And in thirst, you thirsty, you're going to have to go to that brewery, you're going to have to go to the Walmart, the Costco, wherever you're going to get your beer from, you're going to still have to go to your enemy. You're still subservient to them. you got to go get your beer from them, your, your Dasani water. Matter of fact, if you don't pay your water, they're going to shut your water off. So you're going to go to them in want, in hunger, and in thirst, and in what? And the nakedness. And the nakedness. You walk around these nice, fine little football jerseys. You got to go to them for them jerseys. They mass produce them, okay? Yeah, our forefathers and foremothers, if you see on this picture here, maybe another picture over there. Let me see that right there, brother. Yeah, we picked the cotton, okay? We the main ones that keep these businesses and, and, and these modern-day plantations going. Our foremothers and forefathers picked that cotton. But do we own any of these textiles, mill? No, we don't. But we don't. And in want of all things. And want of all things. You want a football ticket, you got to go to them and get that ticket. You want parking, you got to pay the park on that piece of lot. You going to pay for that. You got to go to them for want of all things. Read on. And he. And he. Talking about your enemy. What? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Where's that picture at again? Where's that sign at again? And he. Your enemy. Your oppressor. Shall put a what on your neck? You saw the movie Django. Did we not have yokes of iron on that? Yes. There's no other nation that had went through this but us. These are the signs that we're pointing out to our people. We'll read on. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. There again. Come next draft. They're going to put another old big back black buck out there. They're going to measure his neck. They're going to say, look at the body. Look at his shoulders. How much does he weigh? Let me see if this new girl can run. See how fast he can run. How much he can jump. You know what? I'll pay. Hey, the owner's going to be sitting back up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one. Now, let, me, let me get that one right there. Right, this is another NFL draft. The NFL draft is continuing to go on, brother. Right, when we came off the slave ship, that was the NFL draft right then. They was prepping us 
to be their subservient slaves, their entertainment. Right. Same thing going today in modern times. The right. Bible prophesied. This Bible is a true book. That's it does right. not lie. What it is, these jack led preachers and so-called prophets ain't been teaching us nothing. They don't know nothing. They don't know this Bible. That's they right. just give you a sweet message, take your money, send you back out lost and dumbed down as Negroes as the white man going to treat you like. Right. But let's read on. 68? Yes. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the children of Israel came out of Egypt, but he's saying the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. Did the children of Israel go into Egypt a second time? So what did he mean? Did they go, in, did they go into Egypt a second time? I don't know. You don't know? So you ever watched the movie The Ten Commandments when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt? Right. Then, then later on, did they go back? Yeah. You think so? They didn't. No, they actually didn't. They didn't go back into Egypt. When they came out of the slavery up on the Pharaoh, they didn't go back into Egypt. They didn't. Right. But let's find. Let's read on. We'll tell you what, what it means. They was going to go into Egypt again, right? Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord thy God. He's talking to the children of Israel. He ain't talking to nobody else. Read on. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous for bondage or That's slavery, right. Right. captivity. Right. Okay. So when he says he's going to bring us into Egypt again, I'm sure our foremothers and forefathers thought about, oh, Lord, I don't want to go back to that. Making bricks and mortar slavery. But God said, if you don't keep these law statutes commandments, you're going to go into Egypt again. But how? With ships. Did you hear what he said, brother? With no, brother. You're going to slavery again with ship. That was the Atlantic slave trade. That is documented. They know that history. They told us that we were slaves that came over in a slave ship. But what about our history before then? That's all we had. That's all we know about ourselves. We came over here on slave ships. No. We seen, what's that, Amistad? 12 years of slavery, roots. They slap us in the face with it all the time, but they try to tell you, oh, that's done and over with. No, God said you're going to go into slavery again with ships. Again. So, obviously, we still over here. We're not in our own land. We're in that prophecy right now. Okay? But he said, did we read that earlier about, uh, 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 yeah, we read that in 48. Until he had, we had yokes of iron there until he destroyed us. They destroyed us. That's why we don't have yokes of iron on our necks now. Because we don't even know who we are. It's just like you walking a dog. I saw the lady behind me walking a dog. That dog is subservient to her. Okay? But when she trains that dog to stay where she wants to stay, she can take that leash off that dog. She can drop that dog. That dog will probably come all the way back home to her. See, we're subservient. We're going to run right back to master. Master know we ain't going nowhere because we ain't got nowhere to go anyway. Master know we need somewhere to work. Master know we need somewhere to lay our head. Master know we need a, 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 a place to, to celebrate and the festivities and, and hang together. Master know all that, but Master say, I'm going to make a doll off these niggas. Yeah, they're going to serve me no matter what. But God said it before they, we even knew it. But read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So, by the way I'm saying this to you is the same way it's going to happen. That's what Moses was saying. The way I'm telling y'all this, if y'all don't keep these laws as commandments, it's going to happen to you. It's going to come to pass. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see your homeland no more again. Read on. And there, and there, the land of slave trade, brother, we was here. We was taken here, there, and everywhere. We were scattered to the four corners of the earth, okay? No doubt about it. This is history. These are the pictures are out of their history book in the library. Okay? You know what they say, if you want to hide something from a Negro, what? Put it in a book. Right. Not only they put it in a book, it's crazy that they put it in a book, but they put it on TV, but they call you African American. There ain't no such thing as Africa and America. What land? Where's that land at? We can't go back to Africa and America. There's no such thing as a land called African America. Africa's named after Leo Scipios Africanus. Okay? That's a Roman navigator, general, uh, Italian general. Right. America Vespucci. Okay? There's Italian navigator, okay? So me and your mother didn't come from that from those two white men. Why they call us African Americans? Oh, oh, I forgot. We we Afro-Americans. But we walk around with a hairstyle called that. No, wait a minute, let's go back a little farther. We we Negroes, we colors, we blacks. Okay? There's all like I heard somebody say, yeah, it's all types. Cap say it's all types of colors out here. 
You know what I'm saying? What color are we then? Well, we black. Well, said, well, you black then. That's the color you are. Well, that's the color in the crayon box. Yeah, we have. Uh, 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 this is black. This jacket I'm wearing. Okay, with different shades of brown. All right, but let's read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So in that Egypt, we in Egypt today, brother. Right. It's not physical Egypt. It's spiritually Egypt. Okay. We can read that in Revelation. I'm going to show you that. We're in spiritual Egypt now. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, all praise. All praise. So that's why we, we don't run there no matter what. Cam and the contract, how much money. If the brothers knew who they really were, right. that's what we're trying to do. If we can get to Cam or we can get to some of these other athletes, Mayweather and them, and show them who they are and they receive this thing in truth with understanding and then say, okay, I see now. You know, they might have to be a little strategic in how they roll, but yeah, then they could do that, you know, with the hand of the power of the Most High. But they got to be keeping these laws, statutes, commandments. That's right. Because you can't rise up above your people. That's right. You can't rise up above your people. If you notice the Chinese and the Arabs, do they not work together? Right. Exactly. They work together. But the only people that you can't see come together, unless we watching a football game or we eating an old cookout. You know, that's the whole time we come together. And we mess around and drink too much, hey, we're going to bust that up real quick. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be fighting, cussing, and turning over. I seen two guys one time go to fighting over a pork chop on the darn grill, turn the damn grill over, and both of them didn't get the pork chop. Scrapping, drunk, scrapping over a pork chop. Something that's a bundle, something we weren't supposed to eat. That's why people jacked up with all types of gout, high blood pressure, you know, and diseases, because God told us not to eat those things. But the so-called, your enemy, he put it out there for you to eat. Right. He fed it to us out of the troughs in slavery. Right. And we figure, oh, it's the cheapest, it's good as meat, let's get it, let's eat it. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's destroying us. The shrimp, crab, and lobster, those are abominable food. But they make those the delicacies of our people. Now people think we, we eat however hard we go sit down in red lobster. Or we get old bush or old, 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 uh, uh, what they call her, uh, uh, with the crabs. They call her, huh? Yeah, yeah. Right, oh, real lobster. When we get some of we thought we were doing something. We thought we were living like the white man. Right. But the scriptures tell us that envy not our oppressors. Right. Give me that. Envy not our oppressors. We want to be like them. So we'll turn against each other just to try to be like them. Be nice if Cam Wood come out here and, and be with us and support his people. But as soon as they see him doing that, you know what they're going to do? They're going to shut him down. They're going to shut him down. Yes, Kaepernick. They're going to shut him down. That's a prime example right there. Because they see he's trying to fight for his people, for the injustice of his people. The thing is, they want us to come together, but God ain't never meant for us to come together with these people. That's right. Right. Uh, give me a hold, what, what we got. Read that. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Right. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Say that again. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So a lot of us, man, we I, we, I was an athlete. I played a little semi-pro football. But you know what? Why did I realize, you know what? I get hurt out here. Who going to pay me? Who going who gonna to take care of me? Matter of fact, who going to take care of my kids? You see what I'm saying? So we all had that American dream. Most of our black men, Hispanics, Native American men, you know, our kids don't know there's a better way. They think it's just sports. That thing is football, basketball, or singing and dancing. You see what I'm saying? We better than that. That's what I'm saying, bro. It ain't gonna change nothing on how much money we make. We still still getting shot down in the street. Nobody's coming to the community and helping our people, okay? The only thing that's gonna help us, bro, is we got to learn who we are, recognize what our forefathers and ancestors done because those curses passed right along unto us, okay? Because we're in the land of our captivity. This book is a, you do believe in this book, do you? Yeah, yeah oh, all praises. I'm glad you do. Because a lot of people don't. Oh, that's the white man book. Don't even know that King James, he authorized, he didn't write the book. But there was black men that was inspired to write these, these scriptures down. Right. Okay? Right, yeah, it's written in English. But, hey, King, uh, King what's the name? King James had it authorized. King James, let me say that again for camera purposes. King James had the Bible authorized, okay, to be translated in different languages. Why? Because on that 
possibly showed you our people is going to be scattered to all four corners of the earth. Right. And wherever you ended up there, you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. There, wherever you landed in that slave ship, that's who you was going to be subservient to. That's why our people bugged out thinking they're Muslims, okay? We was a slave before we came to the Atlantic slave trade. We was in the sub-Saharan slave trade right. to the Arabs, okay? Right. And we're still a slave over there to them. Right. And we're still a slave over to the Chinese or wherever we at. Right. We're still a slave to these people because they are ruling, okay? You look at the, the EU, the United Nations. Are we? Do we have a seat up there? Do African Americans have a seat up there? We thought it was Obama was going to represent us. Obama don't care nothing about us. Right. Obama was just a puppet for them. Right. These sports players are a puppet for them. Right. Sell my jerseys. Sell my shoes. Keep these young black men wanting to come and play football. Oh, we, we lost that buck. Get rid of him. We'll shoot him. Take him out in the field and shoot him. Get rid of Kaepernick. Bring us another one in. We got plenty more. We don't need him. Okay? What happened to Ray Rice? You see what I'm saying? No, they don't show you tell you when they beating their wives down and what happened to them. They still playing football. You see what I'm saying? They don't shine the light on them, but they shine the light on us, don't they? As long as you stop serving to them, pledging allegiance to their flag, saluting their military men, doing everything like you're supposed to. That's a good old coon. That's a good old boy there. As long as you do what they want you to do, you're good with them. They at peace. But truly, really, they fear us. They fear the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men. That's why they keep us down. That's why they miseducate us, because they don't want to know, want us to know who we are as a people. Right. But we the greatest people on the face of the earth. And as soon as we wake up as a people, not as a Muslim, not as a Buddhist, not as no Confucius, whatever that is about, okay? Not Presbyterian, not Baptist, not Methodist. Get out of all these, 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 uh, denominational, these things that they use to keep our people divided amongst themselves. They divide and they conquered us. That's what they done to the 12 tribes of the children of Israel when we went in slavery. Right. Divide and conquered us. But God told us why that was going to happen to us. Because we didn't keep the law, statute, commandment. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.